Hello, everyone. I'm Shocho Fujiwara. I'm a software engineer in a web media company which specializes in GIFs. We have several websites. We host them on Amazon web service AWS, and all of the sites are powered by PHP, not only 7.2, but uh, older versions. But we are moving to uh, use uh, PHP 7.2 in all our website. Today, I'm talking about setting up PHP 7.2 in Amazon Linux 2 on Docker. <laughs> this talk, I will introduce how to set up a PHP sandbox environment. It will be useful if you need a quick environment or you need a starting point to build your own PHP development environment. Especially if you have a plan to host your, your website using Amazon Linux 2, it will be more helpful. Let me mention uh, briefly uh, Amazon Linux. Amazon Linux is, uh, as you might already know, uh, is a Linux distribution by Amazon. And Amazon Linux 2 is the next generation of Amazon Linux. It is still a uh, risk candidate, but I think long-term support will be released soon. Uh, it comes with uh, several new features, but the one important in this talk is that we can use Docker content image. That means you can run Amazon Linux in not only uh, EC2 or AWS, but also your local laptop or desktop machine. So you can use Amazon Linux 2 to develop and test your project in your PC. That's a nice thing. Uh, also, I'm explaining Docker, but uh, let me ask uh, one question. Uh, Please raise your hand if you have ever used Docker. Great, thank you. Yeah. Okay, uh, then I will explain Docker. Docker is a lightweight OS virtualization tool. And uh, in comparison to the uh, other OS virtualization tool like uh, VirtualBox, it consumes less machine resource and uh, it takes a uh, little time to uh, launch a virtual environment. So with Docker, you can work with virtualization environments uh, more casually. Here I write down the basic usage steps of uh, Docker. First, we prepare Docker file. It is a configuration file, uh, including, uh, including uh, what middleware do you want, you want or so. Uh, next, uh, you build an uh, image from Docker file. Then we run uh, Docker image as a container. Container uh, is a runtime of the image, and you will run uh, your application or program in container. And this is a uh, sample Docker file to set up PHP 7.2 runtime on Amazon Linux 2. And uh, you can download from this URL. So uh, it links to a repository of us and uh, describing uh, how to use this repository together. So before explaining uh, Docker file, I like to demonstrate uh, building process, and uh, uh, I want to run a PHP sample script. I will follow these steps so you can try it later if you want. Yes. Okay. First, I clone this repository, and. I have Docker file. So, uh, yeah, this is Docker file I put in the slide. I will explain it later. And next, oops, oh, uh, no. 
I will build a Docker image from this Docker file. Yeah, uh, I'm installing uh, PHP 7.2 into an image. Still building. And installing Composer. <coughs> yes, done. Uh, now I have built an image and I will launch a container of this image. Okay, now I have a prompt from the container. Let me check the OS of this container. Amazon Linux 2. Yeah, I have Amazon Linux 2 running in this laptop. And I have a PHP sample script. So this one. I'm taking a PHP version and uh, just display a message using this version string. And we line. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Hello, PHP 7.2.5 world. Now I have entered PHP 7.2 world. This is an example of ShareUI application. So you can try a uh, web application as well. Let me show you uh, <laughs> the steps. I'm using the same image. And, but uh, I'm launching a different container. So what is different from the previous one is that I expose port 80 of the container to the host OS. So from host OS, uh, I can access uh, to the container HTTP port via port uh, 10,080. This is a configuration. Okay. And I will start PHP built-in web server. Oh, too small. And I'm sending a request to the server from the host OS. I'm getting a response from the server, and the string, uh, the message is the same as the previous shareware example. Yeah, I'm just kicking the app script from the uh, host OS using uh, via HTTP. Okay. Now I I stop the server and I cannot send a message anymore. Okay, uh, just a demonstration. You can try it later. And uh, let us move back to the slide and I will explain uh, this Docker file a little. Uh, it has several blocks. The first block is uh, you, uh, you specify the base image of this uh, uh, image and it is Amazon Linux 2 here. Next, uh, we install PHP 7.2 package dependency information to this image because in default, uh, Amazon Linux only knows PHP 5.4 information, uh, repository information. So Amazon Linux extras command uh, do that job. And Amazon Linux, Linux extra command is a new mechanism of Amazon Linux 2. Now, the image already know the uh, package information of PHP 7.2. Uh, 
uh, we use YAML package manager to install PHP 7.2. And uh, if you need uh, paper extensions, uh, you can do it. In this example, I installed Memcached and zip extensions. And I think we need a composer as well. Uh, I store, I download and install composer to this image uh, as well. And the last block is uh, setting up uh, workspace. Uh, it is meant to be shared between the host OS and the container because so you cannot share your local change uh, between containers. You need a space to keep your local change in the container. Uh, this work, uh, shared directory, is one method. Uh, I also set up an environment variable to keep Composer cache to this workspace. So uh, you can use a Composer cache in another container. That's a, a Docker file. So with this Docker file, as I demonstrated, you can build an uh, image, Docker image, and you can run Docker container to uh, start your PHP 7.2 programming. And I'm finishing this talk. In summary, you can try PHP 7.2 on the Amazon Rags to Docker container in a few steps without paying money for AWS. And here is a sample Docker configuration available. You can download it uh, from this URL. Thank you very much. Any questions for the URL? No? Um, so once we have this running mm -hmm. our local, does it mean that we can then deploy this to Amazon? Uh, no, you actually, uh, mm. Actually, we are still running uh, this container in development environment. I, I think you need to use a uh, ECS uh, or, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. And I think I don't have enough knowledge to explain, but yeah, please let me know <laughs> if you know. <laughs> okay. How, how about everyone is going to, I don't know you. Ah, okay. Then yeah, you can you can change you can change uh, the spot yeah to uh, your uh, favorite OS like CentOS or Ubuntu, and you might have to change this this spot yeah. Th these two points are dependent on uh, your OS. How about database? Database. Ah, okay. Uh, so I think in Docker environment. Uh, you should have a, uh, mm. yeah, 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 a Docker image. Because so, mm, it's an architecture of Docker to use a sprite container for sprite uh, role. Yeah, it's just a uh, yeah, starting point. Thank you. Thank you.